Okay, so I have a program in my Compact Logix, but I haven't wired any I.O. to it yet. So let me show you how to go into Studio 5000 and force inputs and outputs. Okay, here we have the simple program we previously downloaded, and it requires input 0 to be on if output 0 is going to be on. Well, I don't have anything wired to my controller yet, so I'm just going to right-click here, and I'm going to force this bit on. Now that force does not take effect until I actually enable forces as well. Okay, now we can see that that force has been enabled. And if we look on the controller itself, we can see output zero has turned on. Now, if I want to turn on another output, just because it's not in the program yet is not a big deal. I can actually go to the controller tags, and I can go to the local outputs. And I will force on output number two, which is the third output, just by putting a one right here. And if we look on the actual unit, you can see right there that that output has now turned on. Now you can also force things off. So let me go ahead and force that first output, output zero, off. So we'll go back to the controller tags. I will put a zero in the force table. And now if we look back at the controller, we can see output zero has gone off, even though the program is telling it to turn on. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute.